Hey guys, Nick Bosco here again. Um, just gonna do a quick video about a couple things that we've been talking about lately. Um, now they know where UFC 249 is gonna be. It's gonna be at a uh, Indian Reservation Casino in California. Um, Dana White is saying that he is going to buy an island to hold the rest of the international fights or to host international fighters. So many questions, so many questions, right? So first of all, like they, the casino, right? That they're having these fights, the UFC 249 and any other fights that they're going to have in the US, US are going to be at this place for the next couple weeks. A lot of questions. Number one, they said that it may not be sanctioned. Um, the, the, you know, athletic commission is saying no. They said no, that they could, UFC could not have events in California. They found a way to go around this. They're going to be having the events. Um... Now they just announced that Rose Namajunas is out for undisclosed reason, reasons. I don't know if she's injured. I don't know if she's sick. I don't know if she's just not wanting to fight. You know, it's a possibility that like the, a bunch of these fighters may have thought this fight is not going to happen. Uh, maybe, you know, decided, to, maybe didn't have access to the gym, didn't have access to like weight cutting. Um, stress could make you gain weight. There's no, there's no way of knowing if these fighters will be as prepared as they should be. There's that, there, there's just fear. I don't know what it's like by you guys, but I know like by us, by me, people are freaked, you know? Like I live in New York State, New York City is one of the worst in the country. People are freaked, you know? Like, I, you know, people don't want to go to the grocery store, people don't want to go out, people don't want to see their own families, you know? So getting on a plane and flying to California to fight, might freak you out like I I don't like there's people that are saying like oh if you were the media would you go if you were invited I wouldn't go I mean I have young kids I wouldn't want to fly on an airplane first of all right now I wouldn't want to run, be around people I don't even want to go to Dunkin Donuts and get myself a coffee like I wouldn't want to fly to California to watch this fight that's just me could be fighters feel the same way you know and we could see like fights that were scheduled for upcoming weeks be canceled just because they don't want to you shouldn't make them. You can't make them just because they signed a contract. Doesn't I don't think that you can make them. And if it if it comes to that where they have to say they're injured to get out of their fights, then that's messed up. You should just be able to let them let them out if they don't want to fight. Um, as for the fight island, which is crazy, but um, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Not maybe not for right now, but all this is weird. All this weirdness is going on. But like say say they have like a um. A new season of the ultimate fighter on the island that'd be pretty cool right uh, um so some questions i saw brought up on twitter is like you know is there a hospital on this island you know god forbid somebody gets really hurt in their fight um it always comes to my mind the anderson Silva leg break thing <laughs> like are they gonna have to be shuttled to a nearby island or country or whatever they are to get medical help um that too, like, you know, at this fight at 249, like if somebody gets hurt and they have to go to the hospital, many times fighters are transported right after their fights. That's, that's kind of scary too. Like if you're healthy, they check everybody for a coronavirus, they check everybody, everybody's healthy, and then you have to get transported to the hospital. Well, guess who's at the hospital? A lot of sick people. And then you could get, you could get chance yourself in getting it there. You know, that's something else to think of. Um... And this the whole island thing is just like flying them in, having them fight, flying them home. If they get hurt, if they get sick, if somebody like um, has an issue of some sort, like how are they going to deal with all that stuff there? Um, so it's a lot to think about. A lot of weirdness. Um, so also Jose Aldo is out of his uh, 250 fight with Henry Cejudo and Dominic Cruz is hopping in, which is interesting because he's been he's been out for a long time. You don't know what his health is going to be like, his skills going to be like. Um, I'm guessing that fight will also be at the casino. I don't know if they've announced that officially yet or not, but I mean, there's always something to talk about with MMA, right? In the UFC, always something to talk about. So if you guys like this video, just give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, if there's anything specifically you want me to talk about on the videos, um, hit me up on Twitter or you can leave a comment down below. I try and answer all the comments. Um, if I can, if they're nice, if they seem like you're, you know, if you're a real person, sometimes you get comments that are like, uh, I don't understand what this means. So, 
uh, yeah, so I appreciate it. I'm still going to do the question and answer thing. Maybe I'll do that tonight. So if you watch this video, keep an eye out for that too. All right, thanks guys.